Hey guys, looks like we're getting ready for Christmas here. We haven't made a video in a little while. Um, I don't like making videos unless I have something to say. So just the, the guys that fly on and on and just video every flight, I guess that's popular. Maybe I should do that, but I don't yet. So anyways, I actually have something interesting for you today. Um, I was noticing on my new Garmin Avionics, my GNC 355, when I point into the headwind, it shows, let's say 30 knots. Same space, if I turn around real quick and go tailwind, shows like 15 knots. So the Garmin shows more of a headwind and less of a tailwind. I first noticed this when I was flying up and back to Oshkosh in a day. I went up there and I was like, wow, this headwind's killing me, but it's gonna be great on the way home. And on the way home, it was half what it was. So I decided to go out and do a little experiment, which I'll show you in a minute. And it really is, I guess it's a known problem. Garmin needs to fix it. It's simple math. It's, you know, your airspeed, how fast you're covering the ground. It should be able to deduce the wind, right? But Garmin can't quite figure that out. So I hope they do. I hope there's a software update. Maybe this will inspire somebody. I mean, put all that stuff in there. I want to know what the winds are doing, right? And uh, for navigation, fuel planning, everything else, and all the computers, it kind of sinks because it is not accurate right now. Brand new, latest and greatest Garmin stuff that I put in, the wind's not accurate. But So we'll get to that in a second. I'll show you the tree. I don't know if any of you guys collect these guys. Ooh, Staggerwing Beach. These are some of the... Uh, ornaments we have from Hallmark. All the cool airplanes. And we have Quinn doing some homework. Hey, Quinn. Hey, what's going on? How's it going? I'm good. How are you? How many hours you got now? Uh, about 60 or so. Maybe like 70? 70. 70. Yeah. Something like that. I'm not keeping track. What day are you going to solo? Uh, August 3rd of next year. August 3rd. 2022. What kind of airplane? Uh, a Piper 182. No, Piper. <laughs> no, it's Cessna 182. I'm sorry. Excellent. Quinn flies so many kinds of airplanes, he can't keep them all straight. The Piper 182, it's a good one. So here we are, the wind's behind us. You can see in the upper right-hand corner that I'm pointing to right there, that's the wind vector I'm talking about. 19 knots of tailwind. Not a lot of tailwind, right? So now we're gonna turn, the wind is actually out of the northwest. So 20 knots of tailwind showing. That uh, one of the things I was most excited about the GNC 355 was the wind vector. I thought it'd be really nice to have that, you know, winds aloft. For instrument approaches, everything else. You can see the traffic. There's a guy right off the nose, 2,200 feet uh, below us. Another guy, 1,600 feet. There's one zero Charlie Airport. That's Galt Airport. So now we're turning into the headwind. We're going through west. When we get to the northwest, it'll be a headwind. And watch what happens. We went from about 17 knots of headwind. We're going to level our wings off now. Watch that. 23 knots, 24, 25. Look, magically, the wind picks up when you point the nose into it. And it's going to keep going. The low point was about 17 knots. It goes up to almost 28. Now, there's the GI 275. So there's 32 miles an hour. It's a little hard to see there on the GI 275 has wind as well. And it's just as inaccurate. So there's 28 knots. So into the wind, 28 knots. Same place, same altitude. When you turn the other way, it goes 17 knots. We're gonna speed it up a little bit here, just so you don't have to watch us. So again, we're turning, look at that, great tailwind, 30 knots it said for a second there, right? So I'm thinking I'm gonna enjoy this great tailwind, I'm in the same place, and now I'm pointing with him, watch the wind now, 26, 25, 24, it just falls off. I mean, this is not possible. This isn't some weird atmospheric event that's happening over Galt Airport, okay? This is the Garmin software. Um, 19 knots, all the wind just went away. Went from 30 knots, and again, it's gonna go down to about 17 knots. So I lost half my wind when I turned and put the wind behind me. Again, same thing here, 21 miles an hour, a little hard to see lower left side of that. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, when you point into the wind, the wind goes way up. When you turn for a tailwind, it goes way back. It has nothing to do with my indicated airspeed, my true airspeed, none of that matters. This is supposed to be an indication just of what the wind is doing at that altitude, and it's not doing it. So I speeded this up again, so you don't have to wait for us to turn. Again, I'm turning into the wind. We're doing it several times here. And watch what happens. Again, we were at 17 knots. And now that the wind is in front of us, watch that 23, 24, 25 is coming. It's going to keep climbing. Um, we're still over Galt Airport. We're at about... 3,900 feet, I think it was 3,900, um, up to 28 knots now. So this has got to be fixed. Garmin's got to do this. Um, now it says 32 miles an hour there, if you could see it, lower left. 
I do have synthetic vision. Uh, it's just not turned on right there. So here it is. 28 knots of headwind. This is a still shot. And then I'll do another one. 17 knots when you turn the other way. This is just a problem that Garmin's going to have to figure out. Other than that, we've been pretty happy with our choice avionics. You could see here a little bit the, uh, you saw the two GI 275s with synthetic vision, although I did have the synthetic vision turned off just for this little portion of the flight. The GNC 355 Navcom is great. I love it, other than the wind vector. And the GTX 345 ADSB transponder, um, that's, that's a solid transponder. You also see here the GMA 345 audio panel. Having a lot of fun with that. You see right there, I have the speaker button push. See how that screen lit up? It says speaker PA. If you hold that in and push it and then talk, you know, hit the push to talk switch, it actually comes over like a PA announcement on an airliner. So that's been kind of fun. Bluetooth is great. The phone works with it. We're going to do a video about the avionics. Um, right now, it's just this anomaly with the winds. It's just kind of baffling that the winds aren't accurate. Again, it should be simple math. Garmin should be able to fix it. And if you work for Garmin, you know, comment below. Tell me how you're going to fix it because I would love to have my winds loft accurate. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll get some more videos out here in the near future.